Thank you for purchasing Red Sea's Nitrate Pro Test Kit. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the test is to be performed. Before using the kit for the first time, I recommend that you read the instruction manual. It provides a full explanation of the nitrate and phosphate control section of our complete reef care supplementing and testing program, including the role that nitrate plays in your reef. The manual gives both detailed instructions on how to perform the tests, as well as how to use the results for correct supplementation of our biological nitrate and phosphate remover, NOPOX. In each of the kits, you'll also find a graphic instruction card showing step-by-step -step how to do the test. Personally, even after years of doing them, I still use the card on a regular basis. Due to the high sensitivity of these colorimetric tests, we use a comparator that eliminates the effect of any discoloration of the aquarium water. On the back of the construction card is the conversion table that shows how to use the kit for higher ranges of nitrate. Before doing any water testing, we need to ensure that all of the equipment is clean. That means free from any residues from previous tests, washing detergents or any other contamination. After cleaning, it is best to rinse vials with RO water and thereafter with the water that is being tested. I have prepared a water sample so we can now proceed with the test itself. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is assemble the comparator. We take the disc, the nitrate side, put it inside the comparator, hinge it at the back and snap it shut. Just make sure that the disc rotates freely on the inside. Now I've prepared two samples of water in the vials with 16 ml in each, as instructed. I take one of the vials and place it in the outside hole of the comparator. We'll put this on one side and we'll get back to this a little bit later. Now we're going to do the reaction itself. So first of all, we take our reaction vial and put in five drops of reagent A. Always shake reagents before you use them to make sure that there is a homogeneity of the liquid. And we're going to add five drops of the reagent, making sure that we hold the bottle vertically above the vial. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now as shown on the instructions, we're going to shake for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, 13, 14, 15. Of course, you can also use a timer if you have one handy. It will make life easy for you. Now we're going to put in reagent B. Reagent B is a powder. And we use the measuring spoon provided with the kit. You're going to take a level spoon. There's a level spoon. And now we shake vigorously for 60 seconds. And by vigorous, I mean vigorous. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. 10, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And we're now going to take reagent C. And again, we take a flat spoon. Notice each reagent has its own spoon so as not to cause any contamination between the reagents. So, make sure you get a flat spoon and put it carefully into the top of the reaction. Close the lid and shake again vigorously for 15 seconds. 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, you should be able to see already that the uh, liquid in the vial is taking a slightly pinkish color. This means that there is some nitrate in the sample of water we are testing and the color is already forming. If you don't get the pink color forming, then that means that maybe there is zero nitrate and you'll get a slightly grayish, bluish tint as you will see through the comparator. Now we just put it down and we wait for nine minutes for the reaction to take place. Nine minutes has now passed. 
So we can see in the valve that the reaction has stopped. We take off the lid and put it into the center of our comparator. Now we're going to look from above and rotate the disc until we see that the color in the center is the same or similar to the color on the outside. And what we're going to do is try and find where the best match is. In this case, it's clear and the colors are very similar at the 0.5 ppm mark. You can see the 0.5 ppm here on the scale. We've now completed the test. If you need any further assistance, please send us an email through the Contact Us tab on our website.